Welcome back to the AskRI.org video series. My name is Shane Share. Today I want to talk about photos. In this particular case I have kind of the well-known website known as I Can As Cheeseburger. Uh, you can see it right up here. Here's the title of it. Uh, and it's famous for having what are known as lol cats, which are just photos that have some sort of writing on top of it, some sort of caption, if you will, but specifically on the picture. But let's say that I came across this particular picture, this four orders of guinea pig cappuccino. It's a cute picture, but I'd love it if I could actually see the original photo. The problem is I don't have the access to it. I, I don't have any way to strip off the, the captions. I don't have any other way to, to find the original, but there are different ways of handling this. To begin with, we need to bring up Google Images. Now, I've already set this up. Okay, I went to Google itself, and then I clicked on Images right there. You can see it. And you'll see this nice little camera that's here. We're going to come back to that in a second. I'm going to go back to the website. And again, I'm going to show you how to do this two different ways. I'm going to right-click. I want to choose Copy Link Address. I go ahead and do that. Nothing happens on the screen, but that's okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Google Images again. I'm going to click that little tiny camera. Once I do, I can paste in an image URL. Now, it, URL just means that I'm pasting in the actual website address of that picture, not just of the website. Now, once I do, I can hit search. Once I hit search, it may or may not work. Now, if you get something like this where it says the URL doesn't refer to an image, that's okay. So what we can do is if that doesn't work the first time, we go back to the website, and this is just a nice, simple way, and I always like this a little bit better. I'm just going to drag this right off uh, to the desktop, actually. I'm going to actually drag this directly from the website right off to the desktop itself. So you can see it right here, and I'm just letting it go, and it creates the image below. Now, once I have that saved, I'm going to go back to Google Images again. I'm going to click on that little camera. And this time I'm going to choose Upload an Image. Now this works in the same way that if you've ever uploaded an image into your Gmail or into Facebook. It's the same exact setup. So I click Upload an Image. I have to choose the file. In this case, I find the file that I'm looking for. I press OK. Once I do, I get the actual search page itself. Now, they give me some certain bits of information. You can see up here at the top left, it gives me the image size, 500, and that's pixels, by the way, 500 pixels by 332. Now, that's okay, but that's still not helping me because that one still has the caption. But if I look down just a little bit, you'll see it actually has two choices. Now, I can instead go to visually similar images. And in this case, it finds pictures that are close for whatever reason. In this case, you've got a picture that really doesn't seem close. But if you examine it, it's kind of four major items like this picture itself. Now, this picture's fine, but if I look down here, 300 by 199 is a relatively small picture. But the one right next to it is 552 by 294. And if I give this a click, well, now I actually have the original photo, or at least as original as I can get, and I can, again, pull this off if I want to. I can leave it on here, or if I click in the background, I can actually go directly to the website that it's coming from. In this case, it's not really giving me that much more information. If you're looking to find other photos, this is just one of the many ways of handling it. I hope this helps. Again, this is Shane Share from AskRI.org. Thank you.